Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid are known for their tough defensive play and well-drilled style that makes them notoriously difficult to beat. With his emphasis on strict organization, tireless running and unrelenting commitment, Los Rocky Blancos have boasted one of the meanest defenses in world football for almost a decade. Simeone has guided the team to a La Liga title, a Copa del Rey trophy, two Europa League wins and two Champions League finals. And employing the Argentinian's combative approach can yield plenty of success on FIFA 22. Strap in for our guide on how to replicate Simeone's signature style without just parking the bus. Simeone's Atletico typically play in a 4-4-2 formation, using two banks of four to keep things tight in front of the goalkeeper. The central midfielder's primary role is to provide protection for the defence by closing down opponents so the back four can maintain their line and focus on dealing with aerial threats. A narrow setup brings the wide players inside, congesting the midfield further and making it difficult for opponents to play through the centre of the pitch and break them down. This approach forces the opposition out wide and with Atletico's aerial prowess in defence, they can clear crosses into the box all day long. Given how tough it can be to score from headers on FIFA 20 anyway, this can make for a particularly effective tactic in-game. Set the team to a 4-4-2 holding formation, which reduces the space your opponent has between the lines, keeps your central midfielders close to your centre-backs. Swap Saul and Koke's positions, so the former is in central midfield and the latter is on the left. Saul is slightly better at defending, so he'll give your backline more protection, while Koke's delivery and dribbling make him more effective out wide. Set the defensive styles of pressure on heavy touch. Simeone's method adopts a measured approach to pressing that minimizes the risk of being caught out of position, so this is the style that best reflects that in-game. A defensive width of three bars will keep things narrow, while a depth of two bars will make sure getting in behind your defense is unlikely. Atletico often attack from out wide though, so set offensive width to seven bars, with players in the box set to five bars and the offensive style set to balanced. Getting your player instructions right is vital to replicating Simeone's approach. If you're using Atletico themselves, set Jan Oblak to come for crosses. There's arguably no better keeper in world football when it comes to commanding his area, and in FIFA 20, his handling stat of 92 perfectly reflects that. Much of Atleti's attacking width come from their fullbacks. Juan Fran and Felipe Luis were a constant outlet on either flank during their time in the Spanish capital, but to replicate their impact, set your fullbacks to join the attack with overlapping runs. The central midfielders should be set to cover the centre and cut passing lanes, which will ensure they stay in the right area and prevent passes through the lines. The more defensive of the two should be stay back while attacking, the other instructed to go forward to support the attacks. Both wide players should be set to come back when defending to help maintain your defensive structure. Koke should cut inside to give an extra option in the centre and look to get into the box for crosses. Angel Correa has the pace to get in behind defences, so instruct him to do so. Up front, Simeone often has an attacker drop back to prevent his side from being overrun in midfield while the other stays forward, ready to hit opponents on the counter. Alvaro Morata can provide a focal point by staying forward and central, but set João Felix to drop back defensively so he assists the midfield. Felix is also a touch quicker than the Spaniard, who is also well suited to getting in behind with his attacking runs. With your team all set up, it's time to execute Simeone's approach in-game. Given the defensive setup and how deep your team will be sitting, be prepared for your opponents to control most of the possession while you wait to pounce on a loose ball. Maintaining your structure is key, so when opponents are advancing through the centre, use your midfielders to close them down rather than your defenders. That will ensure your backline remains in position, keeping a barrier between your opponents and your goal at all times. AI defending has long been an issue on FIFA. This is the act of hunting the ball with your midfielders and leaving the defence to be controlled by the computer, but Simeone's style plays into this. When opponents attempt to hit you on the flank, look to isolate their wingers with a combination of your fullback, wide midfielder and striker tracking back. Regaining possession in those areas is often ideal for launching counters. In the final third, Simeone's team often look to attack from out wide, with the fullbacks and wingers aiming to release their forwards. When you push up on the counter, stretch teams by moving the ball out to the wing before quickly working it inside to the forwards on the floor, or with a switch play to your fullback on the opposite flank. 
If your opponent shows you outside, getting to the byline and cutting the ball back into the path of your advancing central midfielder can also be an effective route to goal. Replicating Simeone's Atletico Madrid requires discipline and the ability to hold your nerve when opponents put you under pressure. If all goes to plan, you won't be playing in many high-scoring games, but it's a rewarding style to master and frustrating for your opponents to play against. 